OAB is a triangle with O as origin. Okay, and then they say the position vector of A is little a. Okay, now um, that's the way to sort of write that, yeah, as we've seen in exercise A. So um, little a there represents that vector. But notice they use the word position vector. Okay, so this is new sort of concept now we're going to introduce in exercise B. They talk about not just a vector, but position vector. Okay, now a position vector, okay, describes uh, the location of a particular point relative to the origin. Okay, so that's why they use that word position, yeah, because um, when we think of position, we sort of understand where it is, yeah, the sort of position of it, they say, or, or the location of it. All right, so you'll see that in this exercise where the word position it comes before some of those vectors in here. And if you see position vector, they're describing the actual location of it relative to the origin. Okay, so in this case now, O represents the origin. So we've got to think now like, like a coordinate grid, yeah, where we've got the origin O there. Okay, um, so the position of A, okay, point A, um, position vector is given by little a here. So in other words, to get to the point a, you've got to go along this vector here, which is called little a from the origin, okay? And similarly then the position vector, it says of b, so ob, in other words, from the origin to b is little b, okay? So remember now, because we underline the little letters, the vectors, because we can't bold them, and we put an arrow there when we use the end points. Uh, so then it says, determine the position vector of C, the midpoint of AB. Now, midpoint of AB, of course, is in between. Okay, so you might want to um, sort of um, measure that out here to get the midpoint. It doesn't have to be. This is a sketch, remember, right? But it's nice to have sort of an accurate sketch if possible. So C is going to be here, yeah? Okay. Now we want the position vector of C, okay? In other words, where is it positioned? Where is it located? How do you get to C, okay, from the origin? So what we really need to draw in, of course, is that vector OC. That's what we're looking for, okay? So when they say the position vector, when they're asking for the position vector of C, okay, the point C, what they're really looking for is this vector OC, okay? How do you get to it? So it's, it's like a coordinate. You can think of it that way, yeah? So how do you get to OC? Well, how could we create that vector OC? Well, quite simply, we can look at an equivalence, can't we? Okay, we can see that, okay, to get from O to C, we could go from O to A to start with, yeah? So we go start at the origin, end up at A, and then from A then we could go to C, couldn't we? Okay, so that's a way of getting to position vector, that's where you get into the C is going to A first and then from A to C. So su summation of those two. Well, I know OA is little a, but I don't know what AC is. However, I do know that AC, if you think about it, is going along the same vector AB, but it's going to be half of it, isn't it? Because it's at the midpoint, so half of AB. So the question is then, okay, well, if it's half of AB, what is AB? Well, we know how to work out AB, don't we? If we think back to before, okay, previous exercise, to get AB, okay, I'll write it up here. Um, quite simply, A to B, you've got to go A to O, yeah? Plus O to B, okay? So A to B, go back to O, the origin, and then O to B. Now, A to O is the reverse of this, so it's the opposite way, so it'll be minus A. And O to B is going along here then, which is positive B. So you end up with minus A plus B. And the, you bet the best way to write is, is the other way around then. So we start off with a positive B, take away A. So that's what AB is equal to, okay? So all I'm gonna do is substitute everything in here then. So I know OA, remember, is going along here first, which is little a. And then AC, of course, is half of AB. And we know AB now is B minus A because we just worked that out. So it's a simple case of multiplying through that bracket with our half and then simplifying it. Now when you simplify it, you've got A here, 
minus half a, which is give you half a, okay, plus then half b. Okay, so simplifying that there. And you've got your answer, half a plus half b.